nuclear weapons programs should shrink. Mayor, you asked, uh, or you ruminated out loud about uh, what's the future, where's the Obama administration going? Uh, for one thing, there's been a lot of recent media reports. We're going down to a stockpile of 1,000 to 1,100 uh, deployed strategic weapons. Now, NSA, in its own self-interest, keeps saying that size doesn't matter. No matter what the size of the stockpile is, it's going to take the same amount of money uh, to support the research and production complex. But I have long felt that that is a fallacy, and that's not going to hold true under uh, current economic uh, conditions. So, what I'm trying to do is urge the coalition to bet on the right horse. Nuclear weapons programs are going to go down, and that is a good thing for many, many reasons, including moral uh, reasons. But bet, bet the farm on cleanup. That's where we need to go. Uh, the gentleman from Los Alamos County uh, suggested that a briefing from Los Alamos on cleanup at Area G would be a good thing, and I concur with that. Indeed, that would be a good thing. But I can tell you what the laboratory wants. They want to cap and cover Area G and do so-called cleanup on the cheap for around $380 million. That is not going in and going after the buried waste. And if you want a couple of hundred of high-paying jobs that at the same time permanently protect the environment and groundwater, uh, advocate for comprehensive cleanup of uh, Area G. Uh, that's where it's at. And I hope that the regional uh, coalition would uh, uh, exert a lot of effort uh, towards that end. Now, I'll just end with a question. Uh, it's been noted that DOE supplied funding prohibits lobbying. I wonder about funding coming from the New Mexico municipalities and county governments, whether there are uh, similar prohibitions against direct lobbying. I don't know. Uh, but I am uh, posing that question. Um, you know, that needs to be examined, uh, how that squares with uh, New Mexico state law or not. So thank you for this opportunity to comment. Thank you, Jay. Yes, I, I just had a tooth abstraction, so I'm not even too worried. But I have four items, and I have these snatches from Taiwan United, a nonprofit organization in the northern, um, in the communities or in the northern areas of New Mexico. My first question was about recycling of radioactive material. I didn't hear any business being mentioned that goes with what you're against. It seems like you're for lobbying for things like that are doing. But what are you um, opposing? I would think you, um, that would be one concern because in previous years um, there were hot spots in the northern areas due to radioactive materials that, that have been um, recycled from the lab into the area. So I would think re recycling of radioactive material should be a no no. And I'm just putting that out there. The other one is about GMO labeling. <coughs> I have a right to know, and I didn't hear anything mentioned again about businesses or concerns as a um, group that you are to address that and to voice our community concerns against having uh, technology be used to modify things and that we don't even have a right to know what they are, what's in it. So that would be one area of concern for me. Could you repeat that? I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. That's labeling of GMO products, okay. genetically modified. Okay. And the other was what uh, was brought up earlier about the lobbying of your organization uh, because what I hear is that, what I thought I heard is that you were about advocating and lobbying for the lab, and if um, you're receiving lab money, which is the majority of this time, you shouldn't be doing that, or whether if you pay the dues, whether you um, have a percentage that will allow you to do that for the lab. And these are just concerns I bring up as they're coming up in the conversations. And then the last one is the nonprofits receiving money from the, the lab or the ventures in that Taiwan United has refused monies from the Black Foundation in that there is a clause that was, and it wasn't up front, but in the clause of the, when you um, apply the proposal and you're awarded to get it, it says that the lab shall, shall only be reflected in a positive light. And the lab, and, um, Taiwan United has been involved in, a, in law
lawsuits against the lab or some of the contamination and things that are happening. So I would like to see if you looked into it, what is one of the requirements on there, but does that take the money on the fund? And if it's there, I would like for that to be of concern brought up. There shouldn't be no strings like that attached to money that you get from businesses that are coming down from there. And that was a couple of years back. I don't know if that's been by since then, but we've refused money since then. So I don't know. Those are the things that I have written on. So thank you. Thank you very much. Ms. Beaumont. Uh, members of the committee, I'm Holly Beaumont with Interfaith Worker Justice New Mexico. Um, I, I have something similar to what Jay said, but I wanted to begin by thanking Mayor Cox for reminding us that President Obama has a rather uh, major promise, global promise, to um, to address during the second administration, um, the second term, and that is the promise he made to the world that he would um, lead the way for nuclear disarmament. And um, Lanel has an opportunity to provide the science that would accomplish that goal if Lanel is willing to um, embrace that future rather than digging their heels in and clinging to a past that is rapidly irrelevant, if not irrelevant. Um, we, we have all, long believed that cleanup is in fact uh, the best, I wouldn't call it the best bet on a horse, but the best opportunity for Northern New, Me New Mexico to develop kinds of um, well-paying, long-term jobs that, that we need so desperately that creates an economic engine in northern New Mexico that really serves the people of New Mexico. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I just wanted to clarify uh, in response to the woman who spoke that our organization, the uh, Lano Subcontractor Consortium, that uh, provides grant pool money, all of that money, 100% of it, are corporate dollars. They are not affiliated or tied to the laboratory, and we do not have that kind of recommendation or requirement with regards to how uh, you, you voice your opinions with regards to the lab. And on a, on a second note, with regards to the Lano Foundation, uh, I am the president of the Lano Foundation, and it is a separate nonprofit organization that also, while we share the name, is not a laboratory organization. It is, is it, a, it is a separate 501c3 nonprofit organization that has its own uh, criteria with regards to how we fund you know, different organizations. And we also do not have that uh, stipulation in our requirements. Just for clarification. Thank you for the clarification. Ms. Probably the other clarification is the money to this organization is directly from DOE. Mm -hmm. right? <coughs> so it's, it's not lab, it's DOE. Mm -hmm. 